Hi, I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning Speed Screed. So I'm here today to talk about how much water you need in Screed. Now, when we're talking about adding the additional, uh, the addition of water, I think generally we might be talking about traditional screeds, so sand and cement screeds. Uh, they could be modified screeds, uh, etc. But I think uh, you, you've got to take a number of factors into consideration when, you, when you're actually looking at that. So I think the, the desired result that you're looking for is effectively the snowball test. So when you mix in the, the sand and cement and, and any other admixtures, your fibres, etc., you're looking to be able to grasp and form the uh, sand and cement into a, into a snowball shape. As you actually do that, pretty much like a snowball, you don't want it too wet and you don't want it maybe too, too dry because it's perhaps not going to compact very well. So you need a certain amount of moisture. So you want it to be able to form and shape the snowball as you know you want it because you're going to be doing that effectively on the floor. As you're laying the screed, you're compacting it, you, you're obviously finishing it, you're wanting it to be a good, uh, a, a good finish. Too much water, it will be sloppy, you'll form the snowball, you'll get water perhaps dripping from there, that's too much water. Too much water in a, in a screed mix will mean that you're going to get increased shrinkage cracking, uh, you're going to get end up with a weaker weaker screed. It's going to be harder to finish uh, when the when the screed is laid. So again, the surface finish might be poor uh, as well. You may end up with uh, with surface dusting uh, as as well. So it needs to be uh, a firm, well compacted material that's got enough water. You, you're going to have to. It, it may vary from. Uh, mix to mix because you may have some sand that when you start the project it's you know it's very wet but what it does during the day it's actually draining some of that water so the the, the top of the sand starts to dry so it's drier than at the at the bottom so that water demand is is going to change throughout so it's important just to make sure that you're monitoring uh, the water content and not just blindly putting the same amount of water in constantly because the mix possibly will change throughout the throughout the day so it's it's monitoring the moisture content that you actually find so probably if the if the sand's been rained on if it's not been covered if it's just been delivered from the plant and it's just been it, it's just been washed then it's you know it's going to contain a lot of water if it's very dry, it's bone dry, it's, you know, it's in the summer and it's very dry, you know that you're going to have to put in more water into the, into the mix. So that's effectively the acid test, the, 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 the snowball test. That'll give you the indication of where you need to be and what you need to add in there. So you don't want too little water because you're not going to get the finish, it's going to be very powdery, you're not going to have enough water to hydrate and to place, and then if there's too much water, you're going to get that shrinkage cracking, you're going to end up with a, you know, a, a problem screed uh, from that. So I, I hope that's been helpful. If you've any further questions, please get in touch and we'd be happy to help you with those questions. Thank you.